Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. So we're going to do a short trip. We're going to start out at Watch Lake. This is Watch Lake Access 3. There's a number of these accesses around the lake. And we're looking north over toward the, towards the Watch Lake Lodge. That property over there, some of that is the uh, Watch Lake Lodge. So we're going to go from here and drive over to Green Lake. And there you can see in the map there, there's a provincial park right there called Emerald Bay. Now that's actually a campground. It's uh, $18 a night. But if you wanted to go, say that one's full or something, but about halfway down the lake there's another uh, provincial campground called Arrowhead. And the opposite side of the lake, like if you went all the way around, uh, you got to go to the south and go around that way. Uh, there's a big campground on the other side, it's Green Lake Provincial Park, and that's kind of the, the one most people think of. I think, I don't know what they have for services, but it's like it's quite a bit bigger. It's um, probably got probably got proper toilets, I think, there. I can't remember, it's been years since I was in there, but yeah. So Emerald Bay, the first one, it's going to be close to where, to where we're getting to on Green Lake. Uh, that I mentioned it was $18 a night. The next one down is also $18 a night. That's Arrowhead Provincial Campground. So I think the Green Lake Provincial Park one is probably quite a bit more. I don't know. There's a couple resorts on this lake. Um, I'm not sure what's open this year, but uh, the, there's one just across the lake from right about where we are here on the on the north end of the lake called Tall Timbers. There's also another one um, called Watch Lake Lodge that I mentioned at the beginning there. And they have cabins, or they used to have cabins. I don't know, I, it's been years since I looked into any of this, but um, yeah, they have cabins and probably live in camp and stuff like that. But intermixed with these houses here, there's a, there's another one there. There's a couple of lake accesses, and so you'll find a little road that will head off. Just pretty narrow sometimes, go right to the lake, but yeah, it's public access. So we're going to make a left here. This is Watch Lake Road. If you went to the right, that's going to go all the way to uh, Highway 24 and the Lone Butte area. And that's where you decide to go towards 100 Mile House or to the east, which would take you more to Little Fort and then on to Kamloops or Blue Water if you want north, I guess. But So these two lakes are connected by a small little kind of a ditch, slough kind of a thing, but fish do spawn. in that little ditch like so um, yeah it just runs kind of through the trees you can see a little bit of it there but it's, it's not very big at all but surprising I've, I've seen some pretty big fish going up there to spawn must be some gravel there somewhere yeah, it's the first glimpses of Green Lake but this is a big lake and lots of water sports people, um, uh, water ski, jet ski, that sort of thing on there as well. Uh, fishing is decent on it. Uh, it's one of one of those lakes because the way that it's situated and how it's just so exposed, 
you can get some pretty good storms and stuff if you're out there like really rough water if it gets windy so this is uh, what we're gonna pull over here this is, the lake is really high right now still runoff from from the uh, snow melting but yeah that's where we'll end this video if you like this kind of thing think about subscribing if not catch you on the next one thanks